Last summer, we hooked up a solar-powered aerator to the backyard pond, but it struggled to improve the water quality. This year, it's time to go all in to get this pond back to nice, healthy water. It's the middle of March, winter's almost over. And I want to get this aerator on the pond early. Last season was pretty frustrating in terms of water quality. It was cloudy, it was green. Uh, this year I really want to focus on getting back to clear water. So I want to get this aeration unit hooked up early this year before the ice comes off. I tried to stop the pump so that you could hear me better, but I can't. The panel's backwards, but there's still enough sunlight getting through to turn the pump on. We're middle of March here, so still a little bit of winter, but I really want to get an early start on this aeration because last year the pond was just ugly. It was flat out not good. Water quality was terrible. I couldn't see down a foot. Uh, it was just frustrating, so I want to drive as much oxygen as I can into this pond as early as possible. I had the pump off all winter because we did want to skate on it. In the end, it was a poor year for skating with uh, not a real cold winter and lots of snow. So the ice was just terrible and, and hard to deal with, with slush coming through. So I probably should have kept this thing on all year this winter, but I didn't. So I'm going to hook it up here now. That will start to send some oxygen under the ice. So we're hooked up for another year. The nice thing with this unit, it's very quick to disassemble and then assemble again in the spring. So five minutes and you're pumping air and the, the air stone, the diffuser, I just left at the bottom of the pond. So it's under there. It will be very interesting to see how long before we pop through this ice. I'm going to guess there's a foot of ice still. There's probably six to eight inches of snow. It was a very snowy year. Not super cold here this winter, but a lot of snow. Uh, you can kind of see down there, soft here on the shoreline for sure. So we're back up and running and it will be really interesting to see how long it takes to burst through this ice. There's going to be a lot of pressure under there from that air. So definitely a lot of heavy ice. Uh, the temperatures are warming up so that should help but it will be interesting to see how long it is before we actually see some air bubbles and some bare water here. It took exactly a week to punch through the ice, but it went through yesterday, making a lot of bubbles today in the sun, as you can see, and uh, it begins. Pond's open for the year. Still cold weather, but uh, it should stay open now for the rest of the year. So it's been about five weeks since we hooked up that pond aerator early March it's now almost middle of April we've got enough warm weather now where it's really opened up the ice I can start to see down and I can see down three to four feet so that is way better than it was last year however it's winter you know did the algae and all that just die um, not ready to call this a successful aeration video yet but uh, definitely starting the year uh, in, in good shape here with the clearest water that I've had in at least a year so that water is pretty clear like quite clear I'm very happy with that for this time of year you can see our old Christmas tree that one's a couple years old I couldn't even see that last year I can clearly see the bottom the bench that we had in the winter we were skating I left the bench on the Sun warmed it up it's melts into the ice freezes into the ice couldn't get it out but tied a rope on before the ice came off so I'll pull that out, but what that is is a really good indicator because uh, that is down there three to four feet and I can see that as plain as day. So way, way, way better water clarity than we had last summer for sure before I hooked up the pond aerator. And with the spring melt, we've also gained a lot more pond. This is my beach that we did in the fall in that pond beach build video. It's 10 inches underwater easily. And then this is usually lawn or just dry ground. And it goes all the way up here, almost halfway to the house. So we've got a lot of water in here, probably two feet more than I normally have. So we'll get the camera out under the water and actually sneak it under the ice and see what that water quality looks like.
So a big goal this year is to get the pond back to nice, respectable, clear water. There's nothing worse than bringing a camera out and you have a gross green pond for everybody to see. So that's a big time goal. Get back to clear water. Those early years after it was dug were like beautiful. So I did want to talk to a pond person, someone that really knows what they're doing. And they looked at my, the solar aerator that I have and they said it's, it is sized properly to the pond. It's not too small, but there's a couple things that you can add to the pond that will really help that aerator uh, fight the algae and get that water clean. So um, we have this water column clarifier and pond dye. So we have this water column clarifier. This is basically just like a probiotic, um, like beneficial bacteria. It'll work with the beneficial bacteria in the pond, really just fighting the algae and uh, you know keeping the water clean. So. They said, throw a little bit of this in. It doesn't take a lot on a pond that size. So this will last the year or longer. And then the pond dye. I really didn't want pond dye, but again, everyone I talk to, people that know more than I do, I like to listen to those people. Uh, they said, you, it really helps. It's gonna really help with the aerator and the clarifier. And this is sort of like a triple shot. So what it is, is basically like, almost like a pair of sunglasses for your pond. It's putting, it's putting the dye in and then it's almost reflecting the sunlight. So not all that sunlight goes down deep into your pond. Sunlight, you know, it's great for the algae to bloom and promote its growth. So if we can reduce some of that sunlight going down, uh, that's the plan. It reduces the algae growth. So on the fence with this one, but uh, I'll definitely try it out. You just, it's super easy to throw a packet into the pond and it slowly turns blue. And after four or five weeks, you throw another packet in. So there's like a year and a half's worth here. Cost wise, this isn't too bad, uh, you know, to do. And if it makes the water clear, I can't really argue with that. That's really what I'm going for here. So we'll get these into the pond fairly quickly. I want to let that ice obviously all melt off first. Uh, see if we can lower the ground level water. Once it dries up a little bit, it should bring my, our pond down and then we'll get this in. You don't want to wait too long on this stuff. This is like way better to put it in early when your water's clear and nice. It does its job a lot easier rather than fighting from behind when you have an algae bloom and then you're going at it like we were last year with just the aerator. So I want to get this in before anything clouds up. It's a windy day, not a great day to shoot a video, but it's sunny and we have a lot of rain coming. So I want to get a shot of this pond in the sunlight so that you can see what we're starting with before we put the water column clarifier and the pond dye in. The water's still high, it's, it's still springtime, the water's still high, but I wanna get this in before the pond greens out too much. It's starting to turn a little bit more green. It's not as clear as it was a couple weeks ago when I had the camera on when the water was really high and the ice just came off. Uh, so that was maybe three weeks ago and we've definitely got a little bit of green tinge to it coming on. So this is the water column clarifier removes nitrogen and temporarily binds phosphorus. So here's my pond size is about a quarter acre. Um, the initial application rate's about five to 16 ounces, that range. I'll probably just shoot for 15 ounces, 16 on the high end. Um, and then it's supposed to be every month or so as needed. 15 fluid ounces is 443 milliliters. So we'll fill this up and try to make a toss into the pond. Hard to believe that 500 mils is going to uh, work this pond over, but apparently it does. And the second treatment is pond dye. This is the controversial one. Not controversial, but I really didn't want pond dye. But I have to trust the professionals. The pond people say it really does work. It says to wear gloves and a huge green sticker, and I don't have gloves, but maybe I should go get a pair. We'll see. Oh yeah. We're gonna get some gloves. That is crazy. Looks like it's a uh, ready, maroon, red, purple. Hmm. So I've got my gloves on, and we've got the directions right here. Uh, pond eye will suspend in the top six feet of the water column. Six packets treats one surface acre, which I don't have anywhere close to that. Three packets is a half surface acre, and one packet is one sixth, obviously. So I think I'm in between that. I'm gonna put two packets in to start with, and then the maintenance dose is add one packet every three to four weeks to maintain color over the summer. So it's super simple, super easy. You basically throw one packet in a month. This is the starting point. I'm gonna take the camera now, 
go around the pond just to show you what it looks like beforehand. I'll go underwater with the camera to see how far we can see in that water column. And then we'll just keep checking back in uh, over the course of the summer to see how this works. Now for the pond eye, two packets heading into the pond. Wow, that is very blue. I'm gonna back off the second one. That is really blue. <laughs> that is very blue. I'm just gonna go with one for now. You can never take them out. So let's just see what one does because that is extremely blue. Instantly blue. We'll give that one packet a day here just to see what it does. I might throw the second one in, but we'll see. Not sure how well you can see that on camera, but it is extremely blue. I should have actually thrown it at the other end of the pond because we've got a nice south wind today and it's pushing everything this way. So here we are 24 hours later and you can see more clarity to the water, uh, definitely more blue tinge to it, but there's definitely a little bit more clarity. That stuff actually does work. So I'll get the underwater camera back out. We'll go down to those same areas as yesterday and you'll be able to see the difference in the water clarity for sure. And I think you can see them. There's a couple hundred little shiner minnows there. Back at the pond, it's been three days since we put in the water column clarifier and the blue dye. You can definitely see a different color here. It's not a powerful color, it looks good actually. And the big thing is the water clarity. We can see a little further, we can see clearer for sure. There's a map turtle over by the aerator. As soon as it sees me, it's going to go down. There's a little bit of pollen on the surface that you can see, a little bit of dust. If we had a light rain, that would like clear it off perfectly. We'll take you for a shot down into the pond. Pretty good look at some clarity there. That's a Christmas tree down three feet on the bottom. See a sunfish over on its nest right there. So we've got a good look here. It's been very hot and dry. So that's a good test of this water that it's been full sun for quite a few days and heat and it hasn't clouded up too badly with any algae. So it really has been so far so good here. I was definitely skeptical that, you know, an aerator and the pond eye would work and keep clear water here, but it's certainly been better than last year. Last year was just a terrible year for me at the pond. Uh, it was almost embarrassing coming out making pond videos and the water looked just absolutely terrible. Chunky, green, couldn't see anything and it went like that all summer. So. I'm going to continue to keep the camera rolling all summer. I'll do an update on this solar powered aerator to see how it's hanging on here and, and fighting, keeping the water clear. Um, but I gotta say, I mean, the proof's in the pudding. It's pretty good right now. And we've had a good test of heat and sun here for the last while. So quite happy with that. I'll continue to keep that going um, and hope we can end the year with some nice clear water. So I'll get my antique drone out that's uh, taped together. We'll get a good shot over top that so you can see the difference in uh, three days with the pond eye in there and I think with the polarized lens on there you'll be able to get a look down into the water and see that we have some pretty good water here so the pond aerator it's working the pond dye it's helping out too and that column clarifier is also helping so pretty happy with what we got going here and we'll just sort of keep it going in the future and, and hope we can continue to have a nice clear backyard pond. <laughs> <laughs>